Hello everyone, I'm Miguel Sanchez, and welcome to the final episode of the day here on Moshi Monsters Biography. It's been a lot of fun over the past four episodes for today, but now today is the very last four today. However, tomorrow is just another day for biographies, because there will be lots more character biographies coming your way tomorrow. So, please stay tuned. And for those who are wondering, where is today's episode of Savior Character Origins? Well, don't you dare worry. Don't freak out because there will be an episode. There is going to be an episode of Savior Character Origins coming out later today, immediately after this one. So, please stay tuned for, for that. But with that being said, let's get right into the, the final episode for the day. Let's get started. We're on episode 47, and this time we're going to be taking a look at Brother Bubba, an exclusive character that's only seen that's only seen in the Moshi Monsters music videos. Never in the main game, never in Emoji Monsters Egg Hunt, and never in Emoji Twilight. But uh, that's pretty much it. We are gonna see why he is exclusive to the character uh, to the Emoji music videos, and he's and we got and we're gonna show you why in today's episode. For those who have not seen the last episode, episode forty six, where we gotta take a look at an upcoming Emoji League, which was Bruce. I'll leave a link to it on the top corner of the screen. So you can watch right now. There's a symbol right there. You click it right there, so you can watch that video right now. But with that being said, I think we're ready for it. I, I think, well, but with that being said, well, let's not wait for time here, and so, let's get started. So, who is Brother Bubba? Brother Bubba is a character exclusive to the Moshi Monsters, uh, to the Moshi Music Videos. He is the twin brother of Bubba the Browser, with, of course, yes, I will talk about him in the next episode. That's right, episode 48 will be about Bubba the Browser, so please stay tuned. They look exactly alike, but different in tattoos, clothes, and body language. He is the bodyguard of Zack Binspin and acts caringly for him, more so than Blingo. Of course, Zack Binspin will be talked about in a future episode, and Blingo, I already talked about him on episode 33 of the series, so if you haven't seen it yet, definitely go check it out. Um, he's mouthed a lot and seems gentle, which is different from his always frowning brother, who tries to hide his softer, gentle side and wants to be seen as a tough guy. As in BT Video's exclusive character, he, he has appeared in Mop Top 20 Pop, My Hair's Too Long, Go Do the Hoodoo, Diggy a Lingo, and Head Over Heels. So, that's pretty much it. All I gotta say right here, going to the character's house, name is Brother Bubba, Occupation Bodyguard. He debuted in Go Do the Hoodoo, relationship to Blue Bubba the Mouser, who is his brother, which, I, again, I'll talk about him in, in in the next episode. Uh, Please stay tuned. Mama Bubba, who is her mother, and Zach Binsman, who is bodyguard of, which of course I will talk about in a future episode, and Blingo, who is the secondary bodyguard of, which of course I will talk about him on, which of course I already talked about him on episode 33, if you haven't seen it, watch it right now. Uh, looking at the biography, according to Wikipedia, Bubba's brother is the twin brother of Bubba and Zach Binsman's personal bodyguard. You can tell him and his brother apart because he has a scar above his left eye, whereas Bubba has a scar above his right eye. Simple when you know how. Oh my gosh. I really, really love that. Uh, and finally, for the design, Brother Bubba is simply sl sl slurred as Brother Bubba. BD him and his brother Bubba, the bouncer, are both called Bubba. They are identical twins and are meta level. They are simply each other's model horizontally flipped like a mirror's reflection. In this reflection, they have exactly the same scar on top of their eye and exactly the same tattoos, as the scar and ink are the same color. And there is a, a similar scar on the arm. It is unclear if if the scars are actually just drawn on as well. Faking it is basically the norm in Moshi Monsters. The tattoo are the tattoos are a love heart, lightning, and a moshi with writing above it saying "Mom." Like his brother, he break his he regular attire. Uh, he or should I say his regular attire are jeans are blue jeans, a white but unbuttoned shirt, and dark grayish blue shoes. Purpose of the video. Brother Bubba has been wearing alternative outfits. The gray gloves and brown boots. He has a scar above his left eye and a model brow. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's all you already need to know about Brother Bubba, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get to the final thoughts and read for the character. Uh, Brother Bubba, definitely a bad character. Not the one I'm looking for here. Uh, he is definitely not the, not the right choice for me. And uh, despite a character, in spite of being exclusive to Motion Monsters music, eh... He's definitely not the right the right character at the right time, so fortunately for me, he is definitely a bad character to, to go with. So on a scale once dead, I rate Brother Bubba with a score of three out of ten. So that's all I gotta say. Yeah, but Brother Bubba gets a three out of ten. However, that's my opinion, and you can feel free to agree or disagree with this. Let me know your thoughts and peace in the comment section down below. And with that, guys, that's it. It's over. Brother Bubba is done. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Moshi Monsters Biography. Please stay tuned. A new episode of Samurai Kinder Orchestra is coming up next, so don't go anywhere. The final video of the day is coming up right now. 
So please be on the lookout for that. But with that being said, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a good result. I'll see you tomorrow with more uh, with more of Boshi Monsters biography. Uh, we already took took a look at Brother Bubba. Now we gotta take a look at his uh, his older brother. Next time, episode forty eight will be about Bubba the Bouncer. That's right, Bubba the Bouncer will be on episode forty eight, and that's gonna be that's gonna be happening next time as the series continues tomorrow. So be on the lookout. You do not want to miss it. We'll see you guys there for we'll, we'll see you tomorrow for episode forty eight of the series. For now, until the time comes, I'll be guys. Just running into please leave a like, share this video with your friends, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also turn on the notifications to never miss a new video. Please subscribe with notifications turn on to never miss another new video from me. That's World Road to four hundred subscribers. That's right, we have reached the three hundred subscriber mark, and now on to when and now on the road to four hundred subscribers. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Bigos Sanchez. For watching much biography and stay tuned. Like, thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for, for an all new San Diego Cut Orchids coming out later today. Until that, remember, Black Lives Matter. Like, fair, subscribe. I'll see you in another video. Laters.